Hello everyone, this is Zach Eats. So this is the challenge. The Underdog Barbecue versus Federal Hill Smokehouse, most brother. So yep, um, I got the food. I'll say uh, just so both of them, the service for Federal Hill Smokehouse, you had to wait a little bit, but outside I, I can get it for COVID reasons it's pretty small in there but um their customer service was really good um like pricing on for federal hill smokehouse is it was like 12 dollars. i mean for how much you got with the mac and cheese coleslaw and the ribs and then the pork i think it's a great deal to be honest with you and then also with the um federal hill I'm not fed hell for underdog barbecue. Theirs is a little bit higher. I paid like $18 for them. Um, I'd say to me personally, I mean, the service is okay. I wouldn't say horrible, but just um, wasn't up to par. But um, so yeah, that is the service there. So the next thing I wanna do before I start this review I want to uh, actually two things. Uh, first is Andrew, who's our, you're out there. Um, I just want to let him know he made the new logo for my channel. Uh, big thank you for that. Um, I know he has two, he has one channel called Gamers of Coplop. So if um, you like gaming and that, or just like anything funny, uh, visit his channel. I apologize if I say the name wrong, but if you uh, message Andrew, he can tell you the exact name of it. Um, second thing is my friends Trevor and David. Shout out to you guys. Um, tonight they are playing at Roadhouse ninety or six ninety eight. They're playing seven to ten tonight. So if you want to see some good music, definitely go see them tonight. And. Like kind of like when I did, I was gonna say this third thing: support local businesses. Like I, I gave them extra tip just because for um, what they do the regarding this like pandemic that we're in right now. So support local businesses. I might keep saying that in every video, but I think it needs to be said. Um, well, that's about it, and we're gonna get into review. So first thing, I'm just gonna kind of show you guys what the food looks like before I get into it. I might have to set the phone down like a couple times because I mean ribs, it's hard to <laughs> eat at the same time. So I might, you know, I might have to set the phone down and then I'll show you when I eat it. But um, here is gonna be the overview of each item. So first this is from, Almost think my name right. Underdog, underdog barbecue. So this is the rib, and then there's the, like the pork. So we're gonna try that, and then I have to say, size-wise, Federal Hill is already beaten because I mean, that's the pork right there. I mean, if you see right there, and then like the the ribs. I mean, it's just just how big that is. I mean, I'm amazed. Um, then the next thing I got was mac and cheese. By looking at it, I'd probably say Federal Hill Smokehouse is winning it because that's Federal Hill. And then the other one is um, Underdog Barbecue. And then these are different, like for F Federal Hill, um, which is like these three one, two, three. <laughs> and then the other two were just barbecue. I just got barbecue because so, the ones they said I didn't want to get like for underdog other ones, but that's like a vinaigrette. One's a habanero and then one's a um, like barbecue sauce. And then th that is the coleslaw. That is uh, Federal Hill Smokehouse and then that's underdog barbecue. So yep, um, I'm going to set the phone down for one second i'll put the ribs first and see how each one tastes so i'm going to put the phone down for one second here so 
So see how um, big that is. So I'm going to take a bite out of it and then I'll try. I won't for the whole video here. I'm not going to like keep like do the whole like eat everything <laughs> in front of you guys. But just to kind of get the gist of it. So let's try. This is Federal Hill. Let's see how good their uh, ribs are. I'm going to turn it around. So. I don't know. I have to say Federal Hill. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> that is good ribs, I have to say. Yeah, dude. For Federal Hill already, I can say consistency of how tender that meat is I, i'm i'm blown away and then this they put some type of like i, I don't know um kind of, it, it tastes like when you grill something on the grill like like steak like kind of like that tender meat like golly that's good i'll give it right at the end but man that is good so i'm gonna flip the camera around here so I'm going to grab now the next rib. This is from Underdog Barbecue. So I'm going to set the phone again, down again here. I'm back again. So this is the um, you see that's um, underdog barbecue. So I'll try this. See how it tastes. Um, I'm gonna say not too bad, but oh, I'll tell you at the end. Well, I guess I'll start now. I'm going to say between both of them right now, the ribs, Federal Hill dominates underdog barbecue just for how bigger it is and then how juicy the meat is. It, it, it's no comparison. I mean, underdog barbecue, it's pretty good, but I, I definitely say Federal Hill is a lot better on it. So the second thing we'll do here is I'm going to do the pulled pork. So I'm gonna put both of these back real quick here. And then I'm gonna just grab each one um, of the pulled pork. Let's see if I can just put this off to the side. So I can have enough room here. So I'll We'll do the opposite. I'll first do underdog barbecues pulled pork, and then um, then we'll do Federal Hills. Okay. And then I'm gonna try each of the sauces too. And I'll just like bring each one on. So, yep, this is um, underdog barbecue sauce. I'm gonna try it once without the sauce just to see. So here's underdog. Yeah, no, not too bad for the pulled pork. 
Okay. So then I'm going to get underdog barbecues, pulled pork. I might, if you see, I'm going to turn around here. If you see, I mean, this thing is huge. So I'm going to try pulling some of it off. Okay, there we go. So I pulled some of it on off. And see how, I mean, look how big it is, I was going to say. So here's the next one. Let me taste one more bite just to make sure. Okay, I'm going to take one more bite. Of each. This one's a little bit harder. Let me try it. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's really tough. That one is. Because I have to say, Underdark Barbecue. They do have a, like a good smoky flavor to it, but I have to give the edge to pull for the pulled pork to better hill. Only reason I say is the meat is so tender, and that's that makes a huge difference. It, like the one for underdog barbecue is a little bit, you know, too dry to be honest with you. Not too too dry, but like just not as moist as Fred or Hill. So um, we'll try the different sauces. So I'm just gonna bring um, sauce over here. I'm gonna try the, this is the, um, I'm gonna turn, turn the camera around again. This is the vinaigrette. See how good it tastes. I can get, I'm just trying to, I'm gonna dip it in here. See how good, how good it tastes. That ain't too bad. I think it's a pretty good sauce. That's from um, Red Hill Smokehouse. Not too bad of a sauce. And then the, we're gonna try it. Do the next one now. Might have to get, put the foam down again when I do the, after this one. So next what we're gonna do is it's this next sauce. We'll see what it is. I think it's a habanero. That or it might be the other one. I know one of them. One's a barbecue and the other one's a habanero. So we'll, we'll try this one. Yeah. So let's see how this one tastes. That one tastes, I think, like a habanero. I have to dip it again. Tastes like a salsa for me. So I don't know. I think that's a habanero one. I like it though. It has a good consistency. So we're going to do the next. Actually, I'm going to put set the phone down here again. We're gonna get the pork or the some more pulled pork. And 
Okay, I'm back, guys, and we're going to try this next sauce. So, let me turn the camera around. Oh, wrong spot. Uh, <laughs> I just realized. <laughs> <laughs> so, here's the next one. It's like a barbecue. Yeah, that's a good one. So, that's a sauce for them. And then I'll just, they're ba basically both the same, like the two sauces over here. They're both barbecue sauces. So, we'll just do a, another one here. I mean, we'll just do one because, I mean, they're basically both the same. So, it's no use of showing you doing each sauce. So, we'll try it. Try this one. See how it tastes. Turn the camera around again. Um. Yeah, I'd say sauce-wise. Well, I have to say again, Federal Hill, you did it again. I didn't really, really care for the barbecue from underdog barbecue i really like that that first one I, I don't know for some reason it tastes like taco sauce but to me <laughs> but that's a good flavor and, th and then also the other barbecue one has a good flavor too i know one of them's a habanero which i think it's the other one but i don't think it i mean ain't too hot for me i, I eat a lot of stuff so um this will be the next thing we're gonna do so i'm gonna do next is the coleslaw between both then, so I'm gonna set the plate over here. Second. Okay, that's over there. So we'll bring in, we'll reverse it a little bit again. So I'm gonna do the mac and cheese and turn the camera around here. So that is underdog barbecues mac and cheese. I'm gonna get a drink of water too. Don't mind my hand there. Got a drink of water, so. So here's the mac and cheese. Actually, I didn't flip the camera around right. This is the mac and cheese. Yeah, like for right, like mine right now, it's lukewarm, but I'm just gonna just go by like taste itself. See how it is? I mean, I have to say this ha is a good um, mac and cheese. It, I, it is creamy. I can see that. So we'll see the t taste test. See which one's better. Yeah. I mean, good. Good flavor. Yeah, it has good flavor to it. So, this is it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Good. It's a good, good, good mac and cheese. I'd recommend it. So, here's the next one. This is Fado Hell. I am going to say it looks a lot creamier and cheesier. So, I think it's going to win, but. We'll, we'll see and find out. So I'll grab this over and grab a piece of here. Just like the other one. I'll take three or four bites on this one too because I'm going to show, make it even. But look at that. Oh my God, that's so creamy. So I'm going to take a bite here.
take another bite again. Okay, we'll turn the camera around again. Here it is. God. That was good. Yeah, I would say after tasting both of them, I'll take one more bite. But that is good. So, yeah, if for the mac and cheese, I'd still say Federal Hills better. They have. I like, I like um, underdog barbecue or underdog barbecues mac and cheese, but Federal Hill, just how creamy it is, and I mean, it has a lot of consistency of the creaminess, and that, that's why it overdoes it in this. It, it's like a real mac and cheese. I think that's a real mac and cheese, but it's just not not as creamy and, and moist as this one. So, yeah. I would definitely say that. They're not, like the food I've had right now, or between both of them, none of them are garbage. I mean, they're both good foods. The only thing I would say would be the the ribs. I would say it's not as good. I mean, that puts like Federal Hill over the top so far. I mean, the ribs kind of really made a difference my opinion so far so um we're gonna do the next one so i'm gonna turn the camera around so we're going to do basically the coleslaw so i'll do i'm gonna do reverse this time so we'll do federal hills i will say federal hills coleslaw is a lot bigger and i, I mean look i mean looks good so i guess we'll try it so i'll grab a piece here One more bite, and then I'll get my view on this one. Really good. Because big is not always better. But it has really creaminess. Really good. I definitely recommend this one too. So we'll do the last one. I'll turn the camera around again here. We're going to try Underdog Barbecue's coleslaw. I am going to say at first, there is really not much creaminess to it. So I'm going to highly doubt it's going to be good, but I guess we'll find and see. So I'll grab a piece here. Oh. I'm going to take one more bite, but Let me try one more.
Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say also Fred O'Hill beats that coleslaw. I was on the borderline of putting that in the garbage, but I'm going to give a lot of respect. When I went, got more of a coleslaw, it was okay. So I didn't, but at first that taste was not good. Um, yeah. So I know this is going to be a long video too. <laughs> kind of figured it would be. So first thing I'll say, let me get a drink of water one second here.